out now to the attorney for the family that is still fretting over this unsolved case. Brett Rivkin, thank you for joining us tonight. I've got to ask, are cruise ships uh, just, you might say, the perfect crime scene? Well, you know, that's scary to hear that, and we're hearing that more and more, and, you know, with the millions of passengers that go on cruise ships each year, to hear people refer to it as a perfect place to uh, commit a crime is scary, but many people think so, and uh, you don't see many crimes getting solved on cruise ships. You hear of very few successful prosecutions against anyone, uh, yet we do know that there's a lot of criminal activity occurring on cruise ships. Uh, I've been doing this kind of work for 30 years here in Miami, and there's been an increasing number of crimes as these ships have grown over the years, yet you see very few successful prosecutions. Well, when George Smith went missing while the cruise ship was out to sea, that was in the Mediterranean, if I remember correctly. There was a lot of confusion, international waters, and so there was a question about who should handle this case. I want to go to Wendy Murphy, former prosecutor and law professor. Uh, in this case, we are talking about an area between the Bahamas and Florida. 10,000 square miles is what the Coast Guard and other authorities have been combing to try to find any, any um, just clue or hint of this missing woman, and they have not found a single thing. Again, you can't put crime scene tape up in the water. It's a perfect place to hide evidence. It's a place where evidence sinks and is often never seen again, Wendy. Yeah, I mean, that's such a good way to, to think about it. Um, you, there is no way to put up crime scene tape, Jane. And, you know, the, yet there is the possibility that a, a piece of her clothing or something could float up. So I hope they will continue to look for artifacts like that. The problem is, even if they find something like a missing piece of clothing, um, there's still the question, how did she get there? And, you know, without a confession or a videotape, these crimes are so difficult to solve. I do, I do wonder why, with so many people disappearing on cruise ships in increasing numbers, why they don't have more videotapes at every edge of, of these ships where